One Story a Day for Beginners. Published by DC Canada Education Publishing. Book five for May. Story one. Red means stop. My father and I were in the car at a red light. The cars with a green light were moving very fast. Suddenly, a man on a bike went right through the red light. Luckily, all the cars stopped just in time. A policeman gave the man a ticket. He told the man, "Bicycles have to follow the rules too." He was very lucky. Sorry, I didn't see the light. Story two: The yellow truck. At the park, there is a big yellow truck. It is there for everyone. Children enjoy playing with it at the playground. How did the yellow truck get there? On the bottom of the truck, there are some words. Donated by Elliot. On his first birthday, it was Elliot who gave his new truck to the park. Elliot, what a nice boy! Thank you, Elliot. Story three, just for a laugh. Tony likes to make people laugh. One day at lunch, he said to his co-workers, "Do you know why I don't bring lunch to work?" "Why?" they were all curious. "I would eat my lunch before noon comes. I just can't allow a sandwich in my sight." They all laughed. Maybe it was true. I just can't wait. Story four, fire truck. Wee woo, wee woo. Hear that? That's the sound of a fire truck. See the fire truck? It is big and red. See the firefighters? They are in the truck. See the dog? It is white with black spots. It is a fire dog. They are on the way to fight a fire. That's why they are called firefighters. We're on the way. Story five: The shoemaker. A long time ago, a man made shoes for the people in his village. Many children grew up wearing shoes the man made. The time came when the man couldn't make shoes any more; he was too old. One day, the villagers came to him. They gave him a beautiful pair of shoes. Now it is our turn to make shoes for you. The villagers cheered as the old man walked slowly in his new shoes. I'm getting old. Story six. Our friendly star. The sun is our closest star in the sky. It is very strong and powerful. What does the sun do for us? Well, it keeps the earth warm. It makes the plants grow. We can even use the sun to help us turn the lights on in our homes. This is called solar power. The sun is our friend. If there were no sun, we could not live here on planet Earth. Ice cream for a nice hot day. Story seven: Open doors. Eat.
each spring, our city has a day called Open Doors Day. On this day, many old and interesting buildings are open to everyone to visit. Many people of all ages come out on this special day to explore old buildings that they usually don't get the chance to see. Where did I visit? My dad and I visited the water plant. That's where water is treated before it is sent to homes. It was so interesting. This church was built 120 years ago. Story 8 A Bear's Visit 1. Leo loves nature. He lives outside the city. One day, as he was working in the garden, his dog began to growl. Leo turned to see why the dog was making the noise. To his shock, he saw a big black bear. It stood a few meters away from him. Frightened, Leo dropped his tool and started to run towards his house. He ran as fast as he could. Go away! Story 9 A Berg's Visit 2 When Leo got close to his house, he didn't hear the sound of the bear behind him. He stopped and turned around to see where the bear was. To his surprise, Leo saw that the black bear was running in the other direction. Just as Leo did, the bear ran away as fast as possible, but in the opposite direction, and he looked scared too. The bear is scared too. Story 10 What am I? I am very tall. I am beautiful. My green leaves get really big. I love to be in the sun all day. I watch the sun and follow it. That's right. I can turn my head and follow the sun from morning until night. I am yellow. When I was small, I was just a small black seed. What am I now? A pretty sunflower in the garden. Look! That's a tall flower. That is a big Beautiful Sunflower Story 11 Many Boats Jan and Mike go to the seaside after school. They see many boats on the water. They see a sailboat. It has a big sail to catch the wind and make it go. They see a rowboat. It has two oars. A man is rowing the boat to make it go. Now they see a motorboat. It has a motor to make it go. It makes a loud noise. Of all the boats they see, they like the tall sailboat the best. Row, row, row your boat. Story 12. My Wish. We all wish for things. My brother wishes to get a new phone. My sister wishes to travel around the world. When my mother asks me my wish, I say, Can you guess? A new game, says my mom. No, I say. Go to the fun park, says my sister. I shake my head. Tell us, please. My dad looks into my eyes. Ride a horse, I say. That's music to my ear, says my father. Your brother wishes to ride a horse. Story 
13. Fishing. My uncle and I are fishing, but we are not catching any fish. Then a big bird appears high in the sky and makes a big dive into the water. When the bird comes out of the water, it has a big fish in its mouth. Wow, that was cool. What was that? I ask my uncle. That was a fish hawk, he says with a smile. And I smile too. That bird is a better fisherman than me. It's better than me. Story 14. The Days of the Week. Jill is learning the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she chants with her dad on the way to daycare. Dad tells her that Monday to Friday are weekdays. Children go to school. Parents go to work. But Saturday and Sunday are the weekend days. At the end of the week, it's time to rest and play. Hooray! The weekend is on the way. Friday morning is something to sing about. Story 15 Fly in the Sky Amy likes kites. She likes birds. She likes clouds. But best of all, she likes planes. She wants to fly airplanes one day. But Amy doesn't like to go to school. Her dad says, If you want to fly an airplane, you have to go to school. Amy says, Okay, let's go, Dad. Her dad smiles. One day, after you finish your school, maybe you can fly one of those planes, says her dad. Wow, that's the way to go. Story 16. Barking Dog Grandpa likes to make us laugh. Sometimes he asks a question. We listen and try to answer. Today, he said, our dog barks too much in the front yard. How can we stop him from barking in the front yard? We thought about it, but we could not think of an answer. Grandpa smiled. I know, it's easy. Put the dog in the backyard. Bark, bark. Story 17. Is it spring yet? Gary Groundhog lives under the ground all winter. In spring, Gary comes out of his hole in the ground. Some people think he knows if winter is over. If he sees his shadow on the ground, that means winter is not over yet. If he does not see his shadow, that means winter is over. Gary is happy when he does not see his shadow. Is it spring yet? Story 18 Fire Station 1. Mika likes fire trucks. He is only two years old, but he knows fire trucks can do great things. One day, he was out in a car with his grandma. When the car was passing by a fire station, Mika saw three big, shiny fire trucks. He begged his grandma to stop. Please, I want to see the fire trucks. So his grandma stopped the car, and they walked to the fire station. Can we stop 
here, Grandma? Story 19, Fire Station 2 When Mika came to the fire station, a fireman was standing by the truck. Mika asked the man, May I come close to see the fire truck? Sure, the fireman smiled. May I touch the fire truck? Mika asked again. Yes, you may. Do you want to sit in the fire truck? The fireman asked. Mika was surprised, and he said, Yes. The man lifted him and put him on the big truck's driver's seat. What a lucky day! I want to be a firefighter! Story 20 Too Short I am a small boy, but I really want to learn how to ride a bicycle. My older brother can ride. My younger brother can ride. Why can't I ride? I am too short. My legs cannot reach the pedals. Dad has an idea. He makes new pedals for my bike. They are big. My legs can just reach the pedals now. <laughs> wow! I love riding my bike. Now I can ride a bike like my brothers. Story 21 Good at Something There once was a little boy whose brother and sister were good at sports, but he was not. This made him sad. But the boy was very good at helping people. He worked very hard and grew up to become a doctor. He is very happy about what he did. I know, because I was that little boy. We're all good at something. Just a little pinch. Story 22. A Little Reader. Karen is amazed at how much her sister Irene knows. Irene is only eight years old, but she knows lots of things. She knows about animals. She knows about trees. She even knows about dinosaurs and the stars. Irene doesn't like to watch TV or play games. She likes to read. In her room, there are books, books, and more books. How many books has she read? About one hundred. I like this story. Story 23 Greenland Sometimes people give strange names to places. Greenland is a land in the far north. It is frozen nearly all the time. It is white with snow, and there is a lot of ice. When the Vikings got there, they saw white snow and ice everywhere. What did they call this place? They named it Greenland. They tried to trick people into thinking it was warm and filled with green plants everywhere. Let's play a trick on people. Story 24 Iceland Sometimes, people give names to places that really tell what the place is like. When the Vikings came to another island in the far north, they saw ice and snow as far as they could see. What name did they give to this place? They called it Iceland. This time, they did not try to trick anyone. Let's get ready. Story 25 
outer space. What would you hear if you were in outer space and a star exploded? Well, you would not hear a thing. What? That is right. You can't hear any sound in outer space. What would you feel if you were walking in outer space? You would feel very cold. Outer space is about 270 degrees Celsius below zero. That's really, really cold. It's very quiet up here. Story 26 Steal the Bell Based on a Chinese Tale Long ago, a man wanted to steal a bell at the top of a door. But the bell would ring if someone touched it. The sound would bring someone from inside to answer the door. The man thought hard. How can I get the bell without being caught by others? Suddenly, he had an idea. He would plug his ears so that he would not hear the sound when he took the bell. Did it work? No. The man was caught just as he touched the bell. What a smart idea! Story 27 We are all bears. I am a black bear, says a big black bear. I live in Canada. I am a grizzly bear. I am brown, says another. I live in Canada, too. I am a panda bear. I live in China, says a black and white bear. I'm a koala bear from Australia, says a little gray bear. Wow! There are different kinds of bears living all over the world. We are a big bear family. Story 28. Thunder. One elephant says to another, We are big and strong. Even the lions are afraid of us. Yes, that is true, says the other elephant cheerfully. We are not afraid of anything. All of a sudden, the sky turns black. There is a loud crack of thunder. The two elephants are running now. They are big and they are strong, but they are afraid of thunder. We're not afraid of anything, but let's go home anyway. Story 29, Bug School 1 There are ants, crickets, butterflies, earwigs, and many other insects in the bug school. Everyone likes their school. Everyone except the spider. Every morning, when Spider gets up from his bed, he cries, I don't want to go to school. His mom is worried. She wants to know why her boy does not want to go to school. All the insects make fun of me, says little Spider. They will not play with me. They will not let me sit next to them in class. Mom asks, why? Good day! Story 30 Bug School 2 Spider begins to cry. Tears run down his face. The insects make fun of Spider because he is different. 
All insects have six legs, but spiders have eight legs. Mom tells Spider that eight legs are much better than six legs. You can climb higher with your extra two legs, says Mom. You can run faster. Little Spider listens to his mom. She is right, he thinks. I am different from the others, but I am just as good as they are. And you can spin your web faster. Story 31 Rice, Corn, Wheat Rice, corn, and wheat are the three most important foods in the world. Long ago, people used to go around looking for food every day. Then one day, people discovered that rice, corn, and wheat could be planted. People then began to work and live together to grow these crops. They could grow enough food for everyone. They did not have to spend all their time traveling and looking for food. Rice, corn, and wheat are important 